Hi, hello. Uh, this is Chandra Shikhar Pri uh, from ATMI College of Engineering, working as an assistant professor in department of EC. So today I am going to give an explanation on a distance vector algorithm on a computer network slab. Distance vector uh, routing. The first thing, each node creates its own least cost tree with the information and it has about its intermediate nodes. Once the incomplete trees are exchanged between the intermediate neighbors to make the tree more and more complete and to represent the whole internet. Distance vector routing protocol uses the Bellman Ford algorithm and also uses Ford Flukerson algorithm to calculate the best route in a network. The term distance vector refers to the fact that the protocol manipulates the vectors of a distance to other nodes in the network. The main purpose or the origin of the distance vector algorithm is to find the routing algorithm for an ARPA net and was implemented widely in a LAN that is a local area network with the routing information protocol RIP. The main distance vector algorithm is used to find the address, resol used to find the address resolution protocol and reverse address resolution protocol. The algorithm of the distance vector is ca is uh, written, uh, carried out by following. First, we need to read the number of uh, nodes and the path of a network. Read the distance matrix from the each user and represents those uh, distance uh, what we call as an a cost distance of an each node, which is connected to the neighboring nodes. So once we got an information of an uh, neighboring nodes cost and then a distance of an each node we need to store the values in a suitable variable and we need to display the complete routing table once we get the complete routing table then we enter the source node and the destination node to find the shortest distance between the source and the destination by calculating the minimum distance between two nodes is done by method called retration retration method and if the distance cost between the two nodes is smaller than the available path, replace the exist existence distance with the calculated distance. Finally, we get an a shortest path that has to be displayed and has to be calculated. And its cost between the source and the destination uh, de uh, source node and the destination node has to be taken into consideration. So this will be calculated for each and every path what we have been entered and finally we uh, finally by the calculation we will able to get the shortest path so let us look over to the program so as i said that first thing we need to read the values so to read the values we need to consideration the matrix so to read of uh, the matrix uh, we need an a two variables which are called as an a integers i and j where is i used for a row and j is used for a columns so here the values what we are going to take uh, the cost of a matrix will be stored in a i of j a i of i of j next uh, the path what we are going to enter is stored in an p and the possible path which is going to represent in the form of a matrix are stored in path of i and path of g so these are the variables apart from these variables a minimum is an integer which is used uh, to find the minimum distance which is considered as a variable and st is the starting time or a starting point and ed means ending destination and as an intermediate signals or in variables we are going to use an a index which is an type of an integer we are going to consider in the program first thing we need to enter the cost matrix so to enter the cost matrix 
we are going to use an a for loop so in an for loop for an i is equal to 1 i is less than or equal to 5 and i of plus plus so this will be used to take the values in a row wise and j is used to take the values in an uh, column wise so here matrix what we are going to take is a 5 cross 5 matrix this is depends upon the a designer or an user uh, or a network designer to how many nodes is need to be considered and those values what we are going to enter the cost of a matrix that is a distance of a matrix from a one node to another node and a neighboring nodes is stored in an a of i and g similarly we need to enter how many number of paths are available from the source to the destination in a network designed uh, in a design network and we need to enter the possibilities of the path from the source to the destination once we uh, that is to total number of a path from the source to the destination so in the source to the destination number of path we need to specify which are those paths for an example if i say there are in four paths in my uh, my design to reach the destination means i need to specify which are those four paths so to specify those four paths we use an one more uh, integer variable which is called as an path of ij which gives the enter the possible paths so once the path has been entered next we'll come to an a first case that is the counting starts which is the first variable i of uh, that is i of 0 0 that is the first element so when i going to take an a first element that is going to consider and it check for an the end path which is the end path which is given by then the, um, that is path of i that is path of 0 0 plus 2 next similarly the j will be gets incremented and finally we find the a path which is be calculated by equation t of i is equal to t of i uh, t i plus a s t s t of p and e d of p so if the e d and uh, s t p that is then the ending destination and the ending destination path are both are equal the programs gets break and directly it will finds the minimum distance in an path if not it will be take considering that if the same so the starting point and the ending point are one and the same means then it has to calculate what is the minimum distance so in most of the program usually this break uh, this program this is this ending point and the starting point doesn't be prov provided next we'll calculate what is the minimum distance so to calculate the minimum distance i have a condition called if minimum is greater than t of i so for an example if a t of i is a value of 3 and the minimum will be greater than so minimum what i have been considered minimum is nothing but t of s comma t so s of t s of t is nothing but the source time or a source path index so is this value is greater than then it will consider which is the minimum and those value has to be get printed as in minimum cost matrix if not then it will going to check for the another path and it will assign directly the path of index is equal to zero and break the path so this is the simplest uh, way to calculate a distance vector uh, from a source to the destination that is the shortest path from a source to the destination so let me see the what will be the output of this so as i said that first i need to enter the cost matrix here the cost matrix is 0 1 4 2 0 that means this 0 means from node 1 node 0 to node 0 node 0 to node 1 node 0 to node 2 node 0 to node 3 node 0 to node 4 similarly node 0 to nodes um, node 1 to node 0 uh, that is x axis and then y axis that is i and then j so these are the i j i axis these are the j axis like this how we have taken an phi cos phi matrix that is uh, similarly from n 0 to we don't have any cost so at the last path we don't so when i find in my network i found an a four path so i am going to enter the number of path that is available in my network is four so i need next i need to write in what which are the possible paths that is which are the those four possible paths so that means from a node one to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 0. That means when I calculate the first path, the total cost of this is how much? 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 9, 9 plus 2, 11, 11 plus 1, it's 12. Similarly, it will going to calculate what is the 
the while co the total distance uh, in the path called one two five zero zero. That means five plus two seven, seven plus two eight. Next similarly nine plus one ten, and last finally one plus three plus four plus five nine ten thirteen. So when I compare to all these values, when I compare to all these values, let me write to the values of this five plus four is nine. Nine plus two is t uh, eleven. Nine, ten, twelve. So total here is twelve. Similarly, five, six, seven, eight. So the total cost is eight for a second path. Similarly, for a third path, the total uh, total cost is ten. Similarly, for a final, the total cost is five plus four is nine. Nine, ten, thirteen. So when I consider this path, I need to find which is the Shortest path. So minimum cost is what is in four. So hence the path will be from an one to two, two to five. That is from an one to two and two to five. So this is the minimum um, cost path matrix. So we are going to be taken into a consideration. So thank you. Hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to the program distance vector uh, distance vector algorithm so in a last session i have explained about and how the distance vector algorithm is right uh, is, is the logic of that so now i am going to show the um, demo of it so to do that right click on the desktop uh, select a new document and select empty document so your file is going to be created and save the file with an extension called dot c because uh, we are writing a program in a dot c already i have gotten a program just i am going to paste it so once once again i am going to recall this program so this path is used to enter the possible paths of a network and this i and j are the integers which is taken into consideration to write the i uh, uh, matrix so when i when i consider a, a matrix i have in a matrix i have got a rows and columns where i is used for in rows reading and j is used for in a column reading and i need to calculate the minimum distance which is of an integer so and a is um, used to take the number of possible cost matrix and p is the uh, A variable which is used to check the take the number of how many number of paths are available uh, in a network and ST and ED STP EDP are an a intermediate uh, signals which are considered as an integers for the uh, starting time of the uh, the source time and the destination point of the uh, network. So apart from this, and first we are going to enter the cost matrix for a given network. Once we write down the cost matrix for this, we are going to find out how many number of possible paths are available from the source to the destination. So when we get an a possible number of a pa uh, net uh, pa number of a paths, we need to specify how which are those four possible number of n paths. So that will be entered by an uh, once again the uh, taking and consideration into an a path. So that is the path. What I am going to if I write it by a square, uh, that is when I it will be uh, when that is p is equal to five means again the i will be written with the value of n five. But whatever I think the column remains the same. Next once again. Uh, one, once we have done with this, first I am going to take an a first element. If the first element remains the same with the so, uh, source and destination, so the path will doesn't going to be executed. The minimum path will be a minimum is one. The whatever the cost is be done. So if not, suppose if I want to check, I need to check each and every. So this is line is used to check the each and every distance from a source to the destination. Once we find out all the path, uh, that is all the. Um, cost of n all the paths. Then we going to find out which is the minimum path in a of four possible paths. So to find the minimum path, I have got an equation with a condition called minimum is greater than or equal to uh, t of i. So this minimum will give that which is the minimum cost. That is which is the minimum distance or a shortest distance overall distance uh, to reach to the. Data from the source to the destination, and those uh, paths has to be printed on the monitor. So we use an one more condition, which is called as an print of minimum cost matrix path is. So this is the uh, working flow of an uh, the program. So now we are going to show that how it is executed. So once we have been typed the program, save the program, and close the terminal. That is the G editor window. So open terminal. So open terminal and get navigated into the desktop. So once you get navigated into the desktop, 
so if you say sl so cd space des desktop i'm navigating indian a desktop in a desktop have found an a file called vector.c so compile this vector uh, .c by using an a gcc compiler which is available in an, uh, ubuntu that is gcc file name that is a vector vector.c so once it has got compiled with that next i need to run the uh, execution that is executable file to run the executable file I have got an a keyword called dot uh, slash um, a dot out so this will runs the output of a particular compiled what it has been compiled so when you say enter it will ask for the enter the cost matrix so to enter the cost matrix uh, so first i will return a 5 cross 5 because the maximum value i what i have taken a 5 cross 5 so if the maximum value is 10 cross 10 so you can give up to an 10 cross 10 matrix so i will write up uh, those which are the possible matrix as shown in a um, previous uh, session that is an 0 1 4 2 0 0 0 0 2 3 the same thing will be uh, clarified uh, with the uh, values that is an first one 0 sorry so run 0 1 next which is the next thing uh, 4 2 4 2 0 and next uh, column is 0 0 0 2 0 and next is uh, 0 0 3 0 0 0 3 0 3 0 next 0 0 0 0 5 finally another is 0 0 0 0 0 so these are the cost of a matrix next enter the path is a 4 so enter the possible paths that is how many number of possible paths that will be done 1 2 3 4 5 next 1 4 5 0 0 1 3 1 3 4 5 0 next so this will calculate which what is the minimum cost that is required so the minimum cost is in 4 and which are the possible paths that is a 1 2 5 0 are the possible paths that are available to reach from a stores to the destination the same thing will show for an a different network with the taking a consideration of an another so we'll run the same thing so with an different so i will give from a node 0 to node 0 as a cost is 0 from node 0 to node 1 as an 2 from node 0 to node 3 as an 5 node five, 0 to node 4 as an 4 node 0 to node 1 is as a 1 and similarly from node 0 to uh, zero, uh, that is node 1 to node 1 is 0 uh, node 0 is 0 next node 1 to node 1 is also 0 node 1 to node 3 is 2 node 1 to node 3 3 4 next 0 0 0 5 0 next 0 0 0 0 1 sorry 1 next 0 1 1 1 0 so this is the mark so it will ask how many number of possible paths that are available i will give it as an a three possible number of path so in that which is the possible that is uh, number uh, number of path is three enter the possible number of path is then three once again i am going to enter uh, that is which are those uh, possible paths uh, sorry the minimum cost is 5 so the total which is the possible that is 3 1 4 5 0 so thank you